Let's first take a look at creating your first model. Inside of the schema editor, we can pick from the left to add a new content model. We'll need to give it a name, which will be displayed inside of the UI, and also an API ID and a plural API ID. Then you can also specify a preview URL for content editors. This can be a URL to wherever the content will end up, and you can use all of the fields that you have inside of your model. You can add multiple links, so you can have a production and staging, or if you leverage in other technologies, you could include links to preview content in those to pretty much any endpoint you like using any of the fields. Now we have a model for our blog post. We can see on the right that we have a list of fields that are available, and these can be added to using UI extensions, but we'll use a default single line text field, and we'll give a name for our field as title, and we'll make this a required field. We can also specify any character limits, set it as unique, match any specific patterns, and much more. You can also choose to set a initial value for content editors. Then let's use the slug field and give it a name of slug, and then we'll choose to automatically generate the slug from our blog title. If we have a look inside of the validation settings for this field, GraphCMS has automatically selected that this be unique, and it matches a specific pattern. Finally, let's go ahead and add a content field and we'll enable rich text embeds for our rich text field. We'll create this field without any validations. And now let's go ahead and create another model. This time we'll create the model author and create it without any preview URLs. And then we'll add a name for our author. Using the built-in asset system, we can assign a asset to an author and give it a name. In this case, photo. Then you're probably wondering how we connect both of these together. Blog posts can have authors, so we can choose to select the reference type for our relation and choose the blog post as a model. There are multiple relation types available, such as one to many, many to one, many to many, or one to one. Or you can opt to use a GraphQL union type in advanced use cases. Let's go ahead and configure the reference and the reverse field and save that relation. Now, if we go to blog posts, you can see that a blog post has multiple authors. This is a fairly basic schema. We have a bunch of different templates that you can get started with, and we have videos covering all of the individual fields that you can add to your model. So go and watch those on YouTube to learn more.